What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to this insane beast of a bulwark. The way I've never ran it before with double glory, okay? We have three times fortifier module here. We have a maximum tankiness here, and the fort uh, and the sharpshooter skill for the glory as well, which fixes one problem now, okay? Uh, normally, people love to run inside your shield with phantom robots and whatnot on the bulwark because then they can make that shield worthless. But if you have double glory, are they still interested in trying that? Let's find out together here. <laughs> and if you like the content, guys, and you want to see more of it, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. We're starting really quickly with a raven first, just so that we can get on the middle beacon, capture that like a freak, and then, uh, and then we're gonna try and have it with a bulwark or whatever. Let's see if that works. Just walking a few meters here, jump once, and jump twice. And we have already a Phantom coming up. And we have an Ares too. That is going to be crazy. That that Phantom has... Oh my god, has that Phantom a lot of Daka. That guy has a lot of HP, man. Jeez. He cannot be taken down. We're just not doing enough damage to him. Hopefully my team gets him before the... Yep, okay. They got him. So let's walk in with a, with a, um, uh, with a Bulwark, okay? Against this Ares and the Phantom at the same time, unfortunately, that was not possible to beat. Um, but now, with this much shield energy... Oh, man. Look at this. Hello. Boom. 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 Oh, here comes the first Phantom. The first Phantom trying to get close here. See that? And now he's down to face... Look how little health... Look how quickly we kill him. And boom, there he goes, man. And now we have a... Okay, we have a, another super meta machine coming up. Thankfully, we can block some of that damage away for a little while. Now we're trying to hurt him a little bit. While we're regenerating that shield. Bringing it up the shield when he's ready to fire again. Okay. And physical shoot is back up and here we go. We're regenerating our energy shield again. And that was a full meta... Uh, um, uh, what is it called? Uh, our chun right there. All right, let's wait for it. Let's wait for their for them to make their move. Okay, I'm coming out now. I'm using the shield here to force him or to to trigger him to activate that shield, and it worked perfectly. See that? Now his shield is gone, and oh no, no, they have the second shield. They were overlapping their shields, but it, it's okay because they're both gone now. Boom. And from behind, we just got base captured. Great job, Wayne. Okay. He's a little bit too far away. I'm bringing up the shield here. And now we're hurting him real hard. <laughs> look at this! Look how- look what a one-man army this thing is. It's just- <laughs> we just run through the entire map and we just kill everything. Somebody's leeching at us. And we have the Vayne person on the other side. Not sure what robot he's gonna bring. Okay, he's gonna have that one robot we cannot beat. This is the one robot that we cannot beat. There is no beating this because it has too much, uh, too much resistance and too much firepower. The leech robot will always kill you. You have no chance against the leech robot with this thing. Okay, he's face shifting. I'm still gonna get him after the face shift. See that? And hopefully before he has the ability ready, we get him here. Boom, there it is. Nice. Now there's the next guy coming in, okay. He's also uh, leeching at us. So we're gonna have to wait a little bit here. Now he's face shifting, of course. Okay, I wanted to just jump straight upwards. I couldn't because he was walking over me and pushing me to the side. But we get him here. Boom. Mercury beats one and a half... Um, one and a half of these uh, meta things. These leech robots. Let's get him down to last stand if possible. Okay. Last stand is activated. And here we go. Boom. Getting him too with quantum radar. And now we're having a problem because <laughs> against that or not, not next full leech. But it's okay because he got capped. Bringing up the shield. He's face shifting through it, but it won't work for a very long time. Boom, there he goes. Nice. So, um, of course, this is not the bulwark that we're playing right now. 
But the Bulwark has done a lot and it's made a lot of things possible in the first place, right? The whole cap destruction that we have caused over here, that was already something that the Bulwark made possible. Okay, let's send all the rockets here before he gets that beacon. Nice. The Nemesis is also still a really powerful beastie boy. I'm waiting for him to lose his, his resistance. Unfortunately, it's not happening. But now I think eventually he should lose it, right? Yeah, I think there it is. It's gone. Boom. Nice. He's going to trigger the landing now. Because he doesn't want to get hit by all those rockets. But he did get hit by all of those. <laughs> it didn't help him. So in the next match, we're gonna try beacon and we're gonna try free fall. And I'm not sure if free fall is going to be a good idea because uh, free fall is ruled by leeches. Leeches and Auchuns are ruling free for all. And the the the, the um, what's it called here? Come on, um, the bulwark. It just it can't fight against leech. As you see, he just comes in. The leech is completely invincible with 90% resistance. And in the meantime, Unleash is like 150,000 DPS or some, some nonsense like this. There is no stopping it. It just comes, it kills you. Uh, and uh, the Auchuns are similar problematic here with their uh, flight ability. Maybe we could equip um, Phase Shift on the Bulwark, but the Phase Shift... Mm, and the advanced repair unit is not bad, but it's it just doesn't help you very much against all. all. Let's try uh, let's qu try quantum radar. Maybe quantum radar will do us a bit a bit better. All right, so here now on castle with this bulwark monster. Let's see how well we can do with this thing. Um, the more leeches and the more outshones, the less possible it will be for us to 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 win here. We already have one of them here. Seems like he's not not even interested in battling us. Ah, okay. He just one tab real quick, whatever the other thing was. Alright, that's uh, an interesting beginning here. Somehow he's going for us, that's interesting. Doesn't even make much sense in my opinion, but... Okay. Yep, got this kill real quick. Meanwhile, the other guy is knocking himself out at us. He depleted his entire Avenger against our shield. He's counter walking the corner for the entire time. He's, he's a leech robot. And he's currently regenerating his leech ability. And that is how this all is happening. So now he's leeching. I managed to make him leech a bit early. Earlier than he wanted to. So we're blocking some of the damage. Even from the shotguns we can block for a little while. Not for very much longer or for that long. But we for a while we can. Now, we have to be a bit careful here now, because we're being attacked hard from behind. Now this guy's taking the beating. Okay, nice. Got it. Now we have the shield back up. See how well we can tank through so much. How his Avenger takes forever to get through this energy shield here. And after that... And the good thing is, with this much firepower, even a T-Falcon is not really a problem. See? Now he's empty. He's fired empty his entire his entire Avenger salvo. And we even we were even able to beat the uh, the leech robot. Uh, we didn't get the kill unfortunately, but I was able to make him use his leech ability too early on. So okay, he's coming in. I'm trying to offer myself to a little bit so he thinks it's possible to hit me. Trying to not be I could walk totally around the corner, but I wanted to make it seem possible to hit me. So that he feels confident and attacks, but didn't work. I was uh, I was hoping for a more aggressive uh, approach of his. Maybe the next time. Maybe the next time. We do have quantum radar, so that that thing we have. Right? Trying to lure him into the open. Hmm, he's super defensive. Incredible how defensive he plays. Okay, now he's coming. Finally, he relies on his last uh, on his fa uh, on his stealth. There we go. 
And we're relying on our quantum radar here. And boom, there he goes. Nice. It was a good idea to equip uh, a quantum radar here, because the, the, the Aochuns would otherwise be very devastating against us. And see how we have the quantum radar ready already? It's because we have the uh, the skill, the pilot skill, the, the... What's it called? Okay, there we go. Shoot us up, and his shoot is down, and three shots later, <laughs> he's dead. Okay, but we also have to say there are not that many last stands here. Okay, let's get into cover real quick. So we don't have to use our energy shield if we don't want to. He's walking underneath, okay. It's not really that, that good of a brawl right now. We need more of a brawl. We need enemies closer. Because that, of course, is the downside now. We have a robot. Um... Oh, they both counter each other. One guy with uh, with shield breaker, the other with quantum radar. Uh, we have a robot right here that requires short range combat now with these weapons. Try to make him into, uh, bring him to use his his uh, shield, but he's not doing it yet. Now he is. This guy is now gonna use his uh, quantum radar, uh, his stealth. Well, it didn't. It didn't even do it. He could have. Okay. We're not the fastest robot on the battlefield, of course. But we are one of the tankiest. And man, no matter where I go, I always find someone else to shoot into my back. <laughs> just, I had all three enemies. Like, one guy I'm following, he's walking away. All others uh, shooting into my back as soon as it becomes possible. Okay, got him here. Shoot us up. Blocking the damage with a bulwark. Having a monster lag here on this dude. Okay. And now he's uh, slowed down. And that's it. Nice. Oh, Titans. Yeah, let's fight some Titans here. We can probably lock him relatively well. But you see now there is a uh, chance. It, it requires a certain amount of hits to lock down now. No more lockdown at long range with shotgun. Uh, because you now have to hit him so hard and so many times that normally the lockdown isn't really happening. Bringing out the shield here. Doing some good damage to him. And before he brings my shield completely down, I just drop the shield and walk into safety. All right, we're coming back out. He has the the heavy weapon is now gone, so and he's taking more damage as well until the big one comes up. See that? All right, and I'm fleeing for a moment here, making this a one on one. Okay, waiting for my kill shot. There it is. Titan is coming over. He has his middle weapon left. Okay, there it is. It's gone. Now only the smaller weapons are there and try to stay out of his stuff range with 100 meters. And that's all I have to think about here. Massive damage output, massive resistance, uh, uh, health uh, on this thing. A strong physical shield. And, as, uh, and as, as if that wasn't enough, we have the energy shield that regenerates up to 260,000 or so. 50. And uh, yeah, hurts the enemy pretty bad. Where are your other weapons? Are there... Okay, they're behind him. We actually managed to lock him. See that? I can corner shoot. Not sure if we can beat this guy, but he's currently running empty his weapons. So this would be a good moment to try and run in. Because his middle weapons are going to stop firing in us any sec any moment now. See that? Now he's reloading. In order to still fire, he brings up his uh, light weapons. And now we're doing more damage to him. But the big weapons are reloaded, so I'm gonna retreat back, regenerate my shield after he's locked down. And I can even go and corner shoot a little bit. He's reload, he's healing. And now it's time to bring up that shield again and finish him. Finish him! <laughs> the Bulwark! With his massive tankiness, shielding, and now the shotguns, which I've never run so far. I never ran the, the glory on it because I always thought you need some medium range for this thing. You need some decent medium range on it. So, um, for example, Redeemers, right? The Redeemer, 350 meter medium range, that's okay. It's It does a good job. Vipers are doing very well on the Bulwark too. 
because Viper will also let you target uh, counter uh, the thing. Uh, the what's it called? Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Oh man, it's so hard to hit him when he's in the air. But he's got oh, he bypassed our shield. He's got the shield breaker. <laughs> Uh, but it wasn't enough. He died too fast from these two glories with a with a specialization of shorter or more narrow spread um, I'm pretty sure this is an interesting beast to run. I think uh, Vipers could be maybe maybe a Vipers would be better because Viper also by uh, ignores resistance to a better part with a corrosion so therefore being something against leech against phantoms against stuff like this and they have 500 meters range with a really good focus fire damage, uh, you know, hitting with not losing as much DPS. Maybe this is something I do next. Maybe we're running the Bulwark with Vipers next time. Try and see how well this does, especially against the meta. But let's leave it as that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for bearing with me. You guys are awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off. Bye-bye.